Well, hello YouTube. I'm a man of my word, and I told you I would be making a new video uh, talking about the Hornblasters.com 100 watt PA system. Well, here it is right here on the bottom. Installed up underneath my CB. As you see, the CB's not going to turn on without the key on. The way I wired the PA system underneath this. This is took black tape, wrapped it repetitively on the front edge here. Well, you can't see it very well. Yeah, right there. All the way around about seven or eight times to make it hold up there nice and tight to where whenever the CB moves, it'll move. So, well, I'm going to go ahead and start off with the uh, key features. Right here is your siren, your, automa or, uh, your manual siren, and your horn. Then you got your microphone mount, your radio, manual, well, yelp, and high loaves, right there. Then over here you got your gain and on switch, so as soon as you turn this on, a light will appear. These are auxiliary switches in case you want to run extra lights or another train horn. So, before we turn it on, I'm going to show you how I wired it. Well, here's the microphone for the PA system. Here's the one from my CB, then the PA. The only reason I didn't run the PA system through the CB is because I wanted sirens. Anyway, here's the PA microphone. Um, you pick it up. I got it just kind of sitting in there with the right thing. Here it is. Squeeze the knob, put the single side. Then I'm done with it. If I can put it back in there on camera. It's kind of sticking in there like that. So. I'm going to pop the hood and show you guys how it works. Well, first on the bottom here, there is a wiring harness. On the back, let me see if I can get it because I can't get down there beside it. Okay, I'm going to try it on this side. Yeah, okay. Anyway, right there on the bottom half of the black one here. A CB. Anyway, there's the wiring harness right there, the white thing with the wires sticking out that go up underneath my dash. And throw a little hole on the inside of my fire on the outside of my firewall that goes to the inside, so that all the wires from the battery and stuff can go into the truck cab. As you can see, I got a bunch of wire mess going here. All I did was, here's the siren. Let me get on this side. Here's the siren. Mounted on the strap next to my battery. I recommend bolting it down, but hey, it's staying and it ain't moving, so pretty solid, actually. Anyway, you're going to see these red and, uh, red and black wires. I butt connected them to the green. And the negative wire for this, I just hooked to the negative. And then the positive wire up to the positive terminal. Ran it back through here, all the green, red, and blue, black you see here, and through that little hole. As you see, here's all four wires. Right into that hole. And that's how you wire it up. Now I'm going to go ahead and keep the hood open so I can, or I'm going to go ahead and close it to show you guys how it sounds. That's the how you wire it. Not real hard. Red and black, positive and negative. The two green go to the actual speaker. So, see my, my CB I have mounted up to where I can turn my key on, and then it'll turn on when I turn it on. But only when the key's in ignition. This I'll march you to the battery terminals. System, I'm gonna turn it down a little bit so my neighbors won't get pissy with me. Horn, automatic or er, manual siren. Then it's got your radio to where you can speak through this. I don't know if you guys can hear that. Then your manual.
pretty wild system. It's actually really loud for 100 watts. I didn't think it was going to be that loud, but it was. So there's the 100 watt Horn Blasters PA siren sitting inside the cab. It doesn't seem very loud, but I have it facing on the front of my truck, and my truck's all steel. So, and it goes out my grill, like the sound just travels out my grill, and all the sounds out the front. Thank you guys for watching, and that's the 100 watt hornblasters.com PA system how to install. Um, it does come with a package of fuses, screws, and bolts, and all that, and of course the steel mounting bracket. I didn't use it because, as you can see, I don't got a lot of leg room well, for the big truck. I supposed to have a lot of leg room, but as you can see, I've got a perfect amount right here. So, thanks YouTube for watching, and that's the 100 watt PA system from Horn Blasters. Install and review. Thanks guys.